I'm here with Scott, and Scott, we kind of want to know a little bit about you and how you got involved with basketball. I got involved in basketball. I have two older sisters who are uh, really good in basketball. My dad coached them, and I used to always go to their practices, uh, like AAU when I was younger in sixth, seventh grade. Then I started playing uh, basketball following my sister's footsteps. Uh, my sister broke 31 records in high school, so I had, a, I had to compete to break some records with her. So I definitely got uh, in because of my family, my sisters, and then my dad coaching me and uh, helping me. Really, it's been in my family for years and years and years. My father played basketball, you know, call him kind of a street hooper. <laughs> He's a street hooper, and he just raised me, you know, from the age of about three to play ball. So did he te teach you how to drop them bows? I guess you can say that, you know, my dad is a real aggressive person and it took me a long time to become aggressive, but I think I am now. <laughs> what are you doing when you're not playing basketball? Uh, sleeping, watching a lot of movies and watching uh, TV or playing video games with uh, Josh Mayo or JB or Spencer. I'm not playing basketball. I'm usually in the room with <laughs> Scotty over there and um, the rest of my teammates just hanging out, playing around or talking to the, to the fiance. <laughs> Congratulations on the engagement. Tell us how it happened. Um, it actually happened uh, after the DePaul game a few weeks ago. Uh, I proposed to her up in the foyer up there, and uh, there were tears. There were tears and stuff, so I was excited and so was she. I'm assuming she said yes. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. <laughs> did she see it coming? No clue. She had no clue whatsoever. It was great. <laughs> so you said what you do when you're not playing, but you didn't mention how many bowls of cereal you eat a day. Um, I've actually cut down. Last year I was up to about seven bowls a day. That was after dinner, seven bowls after dinner. Um, it used to be Lucky Charms, but now I've turned to like uh, tricks, Frosted Flakes, you know, I had to change it up a little bit. Have you tried the Captain Crunch berries? You know, Scotty buys most of the cereal and he doesn't buy the ones with the berries. He buys the all peanut butter ones, so, you know, I got to talk to him about that. So it's not so much the healthy Wheaties, but gives you that sugar rush, that energy lift, which I heard you shoot a thousand shots a day. Yeah, in the summertime, it was close to a thousand. Usually, it was about around a thousand. So, and uh, it's the sugar rush. It's definitely the sugar rush.